Hi, everybody. So I was supposed to be hosting a meeting now on Freelancing 101, but one of the reasons I'm posting this video is to illustrate that life doesn't always go according to plan. It's been an interesting week. I've had a couple of glitches setting up my paid Facebook event. <laughs> And unfortunately, some people got notifications and others didn't that it was a paid event. They, some of them saw the prices, the prices listed, and others didn't. While LinkedIn <laughs> provided the Zoom link, but obviously people would have had to contact me to get the Zoom code for the meeting. And unfortunately, none of that happened. So I had to send out a notification email to everybody, letting them know what happened and to also ask them to connect via the Zoom code and password that I gave them. But obviously there was a huge disconnect somewhere along the line and people realized that they were signing up for an event that they thought was free, but was paid. So. Yeah, like I say, an interesting week. However, I think this is also an opportunity just to reflect on the couple of lessons that I've learned this week. I think, especially for freelancers, it's so easy to get sucked into how do I prioritize and how do I actually make the most of my time? So, I think one of the things that is so important when you're first starting out is to know what your primary goals are. I spoke yesterday to Kim Page. She's the creative director, owner, and founder of Uncorked Marketing, and to Zelda Brink, who is the marketing director of Uncorked Marketing. They're a creative marketing agency in South Africa. And I had so many invaluable insights about where and how freelancers should start when they approach a marketing agency. So I'd like to encourage you all to reflect on what it is you need. I think if you can find a reliable supplier, especially when it comes to somebody who's able to give you advice and to mentor you, use that person to guide you along your path and actually get them to sit down with you and say, I need support with branding. I need support with strategy. I need support with understanding my market, my target audience. So many people don't necessarily reflect on those things before they begin. And I'm here to say that you need to think about these things before you launch into a business. Things have been desperate for many people due to the pandemic. And I understand that many people have lost their jobs and feel like they need some sort of income or perhaps they've had pay cuts and they need another source of income, a, passive, a more, more passive source of income. And freelancing can provide that, but it also takes quite a bit of time to build up your contacts, your connections. So you need to be patient with yourself. I've really enjoyed working with freelancers over the last couple of years. A lot of them are my colleagues and my friends. So I hear a lot of the same things over and over again. And I would like to take this opportunity to say to you, perhaps one of the most important things to remember is yes, you are competing with masses of people out there. You're, you're competing against all the people who respond to adverts on job boards. You are competing with people who are highly qualified. And then on the other end of the scale, you're competing with people who are new to this market, new to whatever craft you are selling. And they are pricing themselves so low that there is no way in heck you can actually compete with their prices. So those are things you need to bear in mind as you go in there, but you also need to remember 
that your strength, perhaps your greatest strength, is actually being who you are. And you need to assess what it is that you bring to the party. So if you're an introvert and you feel like you are not prepared to go out there and be brash and in people's faces and you don't you feel like you don't have the gift of the gab that's okay you don't have to have any of those things what you do need to have is the ability to build and to maintain lasting relationships and i'm speaking now from experience as an introverted person and somebody who who has to be in the public eye a lot and who trains people and who speaks to people and is in daily contact with people it's exhausting for an introvert and can be extremely taxing on us but i feel that perhaps our ability to listen and our ability to empathize is always something that counts in our favor and of course i understand that in being an introvert is a it's a spectrum. It's not something that we can say all, all introverts are like X, Y, and Z. That's not the case. I understand that. Some people can be more introverted. Some people can be more extroverted, even though they're uh, categorized as an introvert. But overall, being an introvert does not mean that you're a shy person. It doesn't mean that you lack confidence. I think that being a quietly confident person is something that is disarming for people who are talking all the time and who are out there all the time and who you feel like never stop talking and there's so much noise there's so much clamoring there's so much of being too much from people who are pushing themselves to get work I, I see it all the time on job boards in particular and it's just who's the loudest, who's going to get the work. And that's not the way that necessarily is going to land you the work. So work on your relationships rather than trying to be the person who is loud, who is in people's faces, be who you are. And that's what people appreciate. They appreciate authenticity. They appreciate integrity. And perhaps more now than ever due to the situation we find ourselves in during COVID-19, COVID-20 and COVID-2021. <laughs> we, we all need to find our authentic selves and use who we are when we deal with people, whether it's our personal relationships, our professional relationships, be who you are. But also remember that as much as it's important to get work, it's also just as important to maintain your relationships. And I think right now, maintaining your relationships is going to really come in handy for the future. Even though it's so hard to live right here, right now, when things look pretty bleak, and we hear news reports daily that are, are saying things like there are huge economic downturns globally. We don't know when we're going to recover um, in terms of the global economic systems. And we just also get daily reports about how we all need to tighten our belts as consumers. Well, I mean, I've never heard an economist say anything except tighten your belt. So what else is new? I therefore want to say, keep going. Keep going, be who you are, find a mentor. And if you can't find a mentor, surround yourself with people who are doing similar work to you. Speak to them, reach out to them and say, hi, how are you? Make a meaningful connection and let your relationships develop from there. And uh, I've found personally that collaboration is key, especially when you're working 
alone a lot of the time. Collaborate with people who are in the same industry as you, but also collaborate with people who are in industries that support your industry or which can make use of your skills. So I, if you have a look at my page, Notable Communications on Facebook, or you find it on LinkedIn, you will see that I collaborate a lot with other people, particularly graphic designers, web developers, and I also collaborate with other copywriters and copy editors. I, I love training people. So I deal with people who are in my industry and who, I really hate this term, but who people would term my competitors. And I have good relationships with them because I don't view them as my competitors. I view them as people that I collaborate with and who are, are part, part and parcel of my broader network. So I appreciate them so much because I feel like every single one of them is mentoring me in some way. They are teaching me in some way. And I think we need to get away from this idea that everybody is out there to get us not everybody out there is going to get you or is trying to take business away from you. So carry on being who you are. And I'm always open to people reaching out to me. So if, if you feel that you're stuck and need a couple of ideas to get you started, I am more than willing to speak to you. So please do reach out to me. I'll drop my details below this vid and we can have a chat. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video or we can have a live session. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Chat soon. Bye.